Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, let's get into this reading. I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, don't forget, go over to my Gumroad account. The link is below. If you would like to uh, purchase the reading Virgo with whichever zodiac sign you're with, it's a romantic love reading. Um, it's timeless, so if you're a Virgo, say involved with an Aries, you can purchase that reading. It's very inexpensive just to see how things will play out. <clears throat> okay, remember these are general messages, so be mindful of that. Take the fits, leave the rest, and personal reading links are below. Okay, so you have the phoenix starting here with your reading, and this is going to go through the month of June. Okay, new phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. Okay, something's going on here. Hmm. You're definitely entering into a new phase. Some of you probably already started that. You're already... Hold on, I just want to turn this down a little bit. You're already... Some of you already started this, uh, some kind of a new phase in your life here. Um, some of you are changing your minds about someone or something. Transforming, having some growth, renewing your soul, your heart, your beliefs, rekindling, lighting those fires again for yourself. Um, and that's great. I think it's wonderful. And there could be this energy, though, that somebody else is going through something here. So let's see what else this message is. Okay, the dragonfly. Hmm, finding some things out. So you've got somebody here who is starting a new phase in their life. And um, they're rekindling something, renewing. Um, but I'm feeling like somebody's having a change of heart. Um, there's some things that are coming to light for this person. They're finding some things out. Okay, we're going to get into the rest of this reading and see what, what is this person, what's going on. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Okay, so you've got somebody here who's definitely going through a healing process, okay? They're, they're focusing on themselves and looking at their self-worth. You might have been connected or, or there, there's somebody here who had very low self-worth. Um, didn't They're going through a shadow period or have been or they will be. Um, somebody was very much seeking validation um, other seeking outward appro uh, approval, validation, things like that, um, in order to feel, to gain a sense of self-worth, okay? And that's a very self-indulgent energy because it was for themselves. So seeking external sources in order to, uh, so having other people validate their worth, okay? So that's like externally seeking rather than internally seeking <clears throat> um, validation from self, okay? There's a change that's happening here in somebody, somebody's life. I feel like this person is, you know, it could be you, the roles could be reversed, but I feel like somebody here is taking a look at um, hmm, how they need to make some changes in their life. Somebody's very unhappy. Um, that constant seeking is like a drug addict constantly seeking those hits but it's just never enough and this person just keeps seeking those hits keeps seeking those hits and and as soon as as soon as it wears off back for more back for more and it's like a cycle somebody stuck in this pervasive addictive cycle okay rather than just stopping and turning inward, looking in the mirror and giving themselves this, seeking it within themselves. Okay. Very strange message, but I feel like there's a renewal, this person, there's growth, and there's change. So basically, it feels like somebody is stopping, putting an end to this outer external seeking. All right. That's a strange message. Um, well, it's not strange, but it's it's unique. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, the 
strength card. Oh, and the Queen of Wands, so, hmm. I mean, that's Aries Leo energy here. This is gaining confidence, courage, and strength, and being bold, okay? So it could be a fire sign you're connecting with, Aries Leo Sagittarius, and for others, um, well, it's just an energy, male or female energy. This is someone, gosh, it feels like having courage. Courage to face the self. Somebody's having courage to face themselves. Turning around, looking at themselves, or looking in the mirror, and saying, you know, I don't need all that external validation. It's not getting me anything anywhere. It's just keeping me jonesing constantly. I'm always chasing waterfalls. Somebody's not chasing waterfalls anymore, okay? Now they're giving themselves. That's great. I mean, that's really, you know, what needs to be done. I this Whoever this person is, um, maybe in their past, they had a lot of negative energy from, like, in their... They were told they weren't worthy. Uh, somebody, or they, the messages, they received messages they weren't worthy. Um, so somebody here is going through the dark night of the soul. They're doing this shadow work, okay? And things are coming to light about, you know, why relationships fail, why they can never, because they're constantly chasing this validation, why they can never, it was a lack of stability. Um, maybe this person had a drug or, or, well, let's just say some type of an addiction. Okay. Okay, page of wands in the reverse. Oh, wow. Huh. Well, there you go. This person, one of the things they're taking a look at here is that they were a spoiled brat. Like this person was just bored um they're realizing that's strange they're real so this person's realizing that um yeah you know this is boring i can't keep doing this the hanged man in the reverse this person is realizing that they just were stuck and they could not see a way out of the situation they were trapped in some kind of a cycle there could have been um, infidelity, cheating, affairs, that kind of energy um, in their life. Or even if, like, if they were with someone, they would get bored with the relationship or wouldn't not, it would not be enough. The person they were with could not give the, you know, and, and the person they were with might have just been giving plenty. But when you had that craving, this person was craving constant reassurance constant validation approval acceptance like over the over the top too much and this is what's coming to light for this person realizing that they had an inability to be satisfied in relationships because they weren't satisfied with who they were they they just couldn't accept themselves for who they were and just be okay with self, okay? So we have fire energy. There's also Piscean energy here. Uh, it's very, you know, they were. It was. It's just very bratty type of energy in their past. Let me see. Hmm. Knight of Cups energy. So yeah, this is the awakening here. Okay, getting courage to look at self. This is what's going on with this person. And that Knight of Cups, I feel like this person was very charming. <clears throat> they had a very charming, romantic type of energy. But as we always say, you know, knights, knights come in and then knights go out. You know, knights are not meant, they're on horses. Horses, you know, are meant to be in movement. You know, um, they might stop. <laughs> maybe to eat or graze, but generally they're meant to be in movement. So I feel like this person, this is what they're realizing. It takes a lot of courage to look in the mirror and look at self and say, you know, maybe, maybe I was the problem. Maybe I'm the reason. Maybe, because I, I feel like this person spent a lot of time 
blaming externally. So if somebody wasn't able to fulfill their needs, they weren't getting their needs met because their need was so great that no one could possibly, no human could possibly fill that void or that hole for them. Um, then they would blame that person for not being good enough or not being able to live up to their expectations. But their expectations and demands to have that void filled by another human, no human being should ever be fully responsible for that. Everybody is responsible for taking care of self first and then sharing in the love with another person. And I feel like this, the phoenix is rising here, okay? This person is changing their mind. You know, that's where it all starts. Our thoughts become things. And when we're thinking differently, we behave differently. So this is what they're taking a look at. And this is wonderful, you know, um, kind of like reflecting. There's a, it's like a reflecting energy. Maybe, and so if you already know this person, um, maybe it wasn't Virgo. Maybe there was too much demand on Virgo to satisfy every little need. I feel like this person may have been very complimentary with the Knight of Cups, offering love, romanticizing, being charming, proposing ideas and emotional things in order to receive the fulfillment that they were seeking. So it was kind of a give to get energy. It wasn't just genuine. Okay. Um, Prince or princess charming, very charming energy. Okay. Yeah, see, communicating, page of cups energy, volunteering love outwardly on purpose in order to try to get their needs met. Like it was so it was, it was either transactional or conditional. That's what I feel like this is what this person is waking up to, okay? Are you involved with this person now, Virgo? You might be. Were you involved with this person in the past? You might have been. Is this somebody new you could be connecting with? Could be, and you could meet this person, or maybe you already have, whichever. And this is something they might admit. They might express to you um, that they're going through these huge internal changes. They're really taking a look at self and... Um, this person may say, I can't do a relationship right now because I'm just, uh, I'm just going through this transition. My Phoenix is rising <laughs> I'm, and I'm like so busy watching it rise. And, and I just, until it's finished, I can't do anything just yet. Maybe you heard that in the past or, or currently. All right, let's see. Okay, death in reverse, suffering, a lot of suffering, okay? And when I say that, I'm not trying to tell you, oh, you, you know, give sympathy or pity. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just explaining the messages that I'm getting here with this person. Um, this is Scorpio energy here. So there's um, just a lot of uh, stuck energy, this person. Stuck, stuck, okay. Overcoming, but a lot of suffering here. This person caused, okay, caused their own suffering. Uh, but I also feel like with the fool, they're just jumping out of this. They do definitely come to terms where they're kind of looking at this, like their shadow side is showing, uh, creeping up and showing them what the, what the trouble was, what the problem was in their life in general, like in their past relationships or in their life. Um, people didn't trust them. And because they knew that this person was 
giving to get. So it was very transactional and conditional. And if and if the person they were giving to wasn't returning anything, then like I said, they would deem that person not suitable, not worthy. Um, it's it can be very manipulative behavior. And you know, I didn't have the big end card show up here, so I I just feel like there's this adaptive behavior that somebody took on here. Okay, um, how does this person? Let's see if he, if Virgo knows this person. How does this person feel about Virgo? This person thinks you're completely blocked. You've blocked them and you've isolated yourself from them. Wow. Okay. I also feel like this person thinks that you were stuck too. You were both stuck or that they caused you to be stuck. But I see, I see like a blocking energy here. No communication with this person. They are not communicating with you. You're not communicating with them. Um, the Hermit card is your card, Virgo. So, you know, maybe you are completely isolating yourself from them at this time. Maybe you isolating yourself from this person is causing them to go through this dark shadow energy, ask, starting to ask themselves questions like, is it my fault? Do I need to make some changes here? And yes, yes, that's what I see is happening here. Hierophant reverse. Virgo, you're not expecting anything from this person. You're rebelling. You've rebelled. You've like ricocheted out of here. You've gone in the opposite direction. They see that. And they feel that energy. If they don't see it, they can feel a disconnect. And for a lot of you, I feel like, like I said, if you know this person, whichever the reason, the major reason why this person is having to look at themselves because you're not there reflecting anything back to them. You're not engaging in the transaction of whatever they're trying to offer to you. You're not repaying in kind. You're not repaying at all. So this person has really no one else to reflect that energy back to them, just themselves, just the, their, their image in the mirror. They have no one else to attain this external validation from except for the man in the mirror or the, 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 the woman in the mirror. Okay. Forced to face self. change and heal wow this is pretty profound <clears throat> so Virgo I feel like this person just feels like you are burned out you're burned out candle went out remember I said rekindling like rekindling a candle yeah this person's they're gonna try to rekindle this this fire this 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 light that's burned out this wick is burned out you let it burn all the way to the bottom and, and that's it and they see this you're you're like ugh, exhausted you're done you're burned out you're out of here and they're going to try to re rekindle this flame. Because you're right. They know you're right. They know that, you know, transactional love relationships, they don't go together. You know, love is given freely. Giving to get is transactional. That's, that's not 
what true love is about. Taurus energy, another Virgo, Aquarius. And this person feels, because I was asking how they feel about you, they feel like you're out, you're gone. Okay? And some of you are. Some of you are just not engaging. And you're not taking part. You've left the scene of the crime. Okay? Okay, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra. Wow. Okay. Karma. This person's getting their karma. And they don't want their karma. They don't want this. So when somebody is using politeness, I think the term is kill them with kindness. That's what I want to say. When someone is using politeness to manipulate, that's still bad karma. Okay. Because manipulation, I'm not talking about getting up in the morning and brushing your hair so it looks nice. I'm talking about intentionally giving love and affection in order to get something back, not because that person's really feeling that and they just want you to be happy and they want you to feel as good as they do, okay? This isn't giving in order to receive. This is romancing, this is charming. Um, this is kind of like the emotional player, okay? That's why those people do that, you know, seeking that kind of validation. That King of Swords energy sitting here with truth and nothing but truth. Like karma is hitting this person. So, you know, if someone's, if someone's using kindness, you know, people are going to use one of two ways. They're either going to use abrasiveness, harshness, and rudeness and be um, cruel in order to get like punishing in order to get what they want, or they're going to go on the opposite end of the spectrum, be very kind and um, non-invasive. That's a, that can be used as a form of manipulation as well. No matter what, it's what the intention is. It's not. It's not the way it's presented. This as karma only works on intention. So whatever this person, whatever their intentions were to try to be an opportunist or use and abuse in order to get fulfillment, to drain your energy um, and drain all that love, fill their void for them now. So it's kind of like they're getting karma for the manipulation. They're not a bad person. I just feel like this person is like waking up to their karma is what? That they are without you. They have nothing. I mean, they might have other people around them, but... I think other people around them are starting to see this as well. That they're full of shit. Or that they're fake. Yep, look at that. Five of Wands in the reverse. Your person here is trying to resolve any problems now. They're coming into this, resolve these issues. Okay, that's what they need to, well, at least with karma, that's what they're waking up to. Karma is judgment. And I feel like people around them, maybe some friends or other people are calling them out on things that you, like I said, if you were involved with them, have called them out before, but you just got burned out. You couldn't do it anymore. You left. And now this person is like, they're trying to clean up the trash on their street. Like a tornado going through a town and just leaving a trail of destruction. Now this person is out there on cleanup duty, you know, damage control. Uh, it just feels like, a, like when that Phoenix rising here, I mean, we're talking about growth and transformation, F things coming to light, finding out about themselves, adapting, changing and healing. So you know, whatever's going on with this person, you know, I don't, you may not even be involved with them anymore, or you might, you know, maybe you are, and then some stuff starts coming out, but they're going through it. I mean, there's a little bit of something here, like, you know, if one person says it, 
It doesn't necessarily mean it's true. But if, a, if that person says it and then 10 other people are saying it, uh-oh. Okay, now we've got a pattern. Now everybody is like kind of saying the same thing and they're not all in cahoots. They're all individually saying it to this person. And it's kind of like they can't run and hide anymore and they can't keep being deceptive. And so now they're coming out and, and seeing they're about to, they're, they've lost you and they're losing everything else around them or everyone else around them. Yeah, Virgo, look at you. You've got the two of sword or the two of cups in reverse and the five of swords in the reverse. So you are just like, I'm out of here because it's abuse. The only way to make this abuse go away is to make this person go away because it goes hand in hand. So five of swords in the upright is that's intentional. That's that harsh abuse. Five of Swords in the reverse is more covert kind of abuse. It's softer, but it's still, you know, it's still, it's still abuse. You know, um, a poison apple is still an apple. <laughs> so it's kind of like when um, the witch Male Maleficent, Male Maleficent, is that the name? Uh, the witch gave Snow White the apple, but it was poison. You know, it was very sneaky. Maleficent. Is that the word? Was that, wasn't that an Angelina Jolie uh, movie or something? So I'm just pick. I'm just seeing that apple and, and is that the word? Maleficent. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think, I think I heard it and I can't recall. Um, it's maladaptive behavior. Malefic maleficent, whatever, maladaptive behavior. You know, this is, you caught somebody, you caught, either you caught somebody doing something or you caught on to something. Okay, and you're, you're out. Two of cups reversed. I think you're not interested. I think you're just not interested. And this person is, because of that, you're not forcing anything. You're not telling anybody what to do. You're just leaving the scene of the crime. And this person is now, by default, having to take a look at themselves here. Okay, what's going to be the outcome? Actually, I'm going to go in the extended reading for that to see what the outcome is going to be for this situation. But let me just get a couple of romance angels to show me the energy here, the romance, the feelings, the emotions with this person. All right, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So a decision is going to be made very soon from this person. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious that this person is coming out of some kind of very bad energy here, waking up, seeing things, seeing how their behaviors have affected. Okay, but there is a separation, definitely. Time apart from your partner on the horizon. So some of you are still kind of like, I feel like right now you've just been distancing. You haven't made any formal decisions, like concrete plans or concrete decisions about somebody else, whoever that is. I feel like right now you're just distancing yourself. And that seems to be like the best you can arrive at. Although, you know, at some point you are going to have to make a full blown decision and you may not be in that place right now where you're just trying to you're just trying to like re I feel like resettle yourself restructure yourself reframe things um before because there's you know you don't want to be on the receiving end of something anymore but you don't know which way to go so you might be still at a crossroads but it's like real far away from this person it's like at a distance to some degree whether that's physically or just emotionally or mentally you know you're, i'm just picking up this very large distance energy here with this person 
Let me see. I'll take a look and see what this person's um, Chinese sign might be. Give you some more clarity who they are. Could be it could be your sign and theirs, or just yours, or just theirs, or maybe none of you. Let me see. Okay, so this could be someone who is a tiger. They could be a dragon. Okay, some of these are a double dragon here. Okay, we have a snake. We have an ox. There's a rabbit. Dog. The rat. And the goat. Okay, so I'm going to leave that portion right there. Let me get into... Some charms here and then I'm going to go over to the extended to see what the outcome of this because there's a decision being made here and um, we're going to see what that decision is going to be because for some of you this person is just coming to terms with things and then is going to let you go if you decide to go and for others I did feel mostly okay that they are going to try to rekindle but i want to see you know what the true the truth what the actual decision is going to be okay so we have two hearts here we have three hearts and this is a big red heart some of you might get a red heart gosh you might get a red heart emoji from somebody just the heart <laughs> i can't even just the heart Okay, we also have a rabbit. So for some of you, this is 100% a rabbit, okay, that you're dealing with. Here's a bunny rabbit right here. It's a bunny rabbit face. Yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a rabbit. Year of the rabbit. Okay, so we have also the butterfly. You know, the other day I did a reading and I said something like, if you see a dragonfly, and after I finished the reading, um, I had to go out and get my mail and as soon as I went out to my mailbox there was a dragonfly right there I was like I was not about the reading but I was shocked because I had yet to see a dragonfly in real life in the season yet so I just thought that was so crazy how ironic that was um, so we also have an owl okay maybe somebody lives near a Hooters <laughs> it just said or goes there, or works there. Okay. Two hearts here, I don't know. This is like conjoined. I, they just told me conjoined twins, so this might be a twin flame relationship or connection as well. Okay. I also have like, there's a star here, but it's crazy because the first thing I saw with the star is that this feels like the topper on a Christmas tree, the star. So that might be significant for some of you. The star on top of the tree. I don't know what it would mean or if it holds significance for you, but I just saw that like sitting on top of a, of a Christmas tree. And we have the alm. Um, the alm um sign. So there's something connected to that as well. Meditation perhaps or some type of yoga somebody does. And then one more, they said, get one more. Okay, and a black cat, interesting. So the cat used to be the Chinese sign, but they were, they changed it, I believe, to the, to the rabbit. So that is another sign about somebody being a year of the rabbit. Um, but this is a black cat, this is a dark cat, this is mysterious, this is superstition, okay? Somebody might be, con yeah, they're connected to some very dark forces. And I feel like that's why um, they're going through this shadow work right now, connecting with these very dark forces. Or maybe just somebody has a black cat. Okay, somebody just has a black cat. All right, so I'm going to go over to the extended and see what um, the de decision's going to be made and how that's going to play out and like what's going to happen here. So the link for the extended reading will be below this video.
All right, so do go over and check that out. All right, you guys, hope you had a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.